The great thing about the horror genre is the range of styles it encompasses. Everyone's afraid of something, and some of those unique fears have inspired amazing movies. While horror flicks often come with a sizable body count, there's more to the genre than just a well-stocked list of victims. From ghostly apparitions that haunt families to the knowledge of someone stalking you, here are the scariest horror movies where no one actually gets off on screen. Obviously, there are a whole bunch of spoilers ahead. Poltergeist one of the most terrifying ghost story movies of all time, Poltergeist has been parodied, referenced, and even remade. But nothing can detract from the genuinely frightening visuals and invasive horror of the film. They're here. Luckily for the film's central family, no one actually gets off in Poltergeist. They're ultimately able to escape with their lives intact, although they lose the safe sanctuary that their home represented. Some would say that's even scarier than the truly horrific clown doll. The Others Outwardly a horror movie about a haunted house, the real terror of the others is in being trapped and battered by forces you cannot comprehend. As it turns out, the family living in fear of ghosts are themselves the ghosts. What they believe to be the ghosts were in fact the new owners of the house. It's a twist that flips horror movie conventions on their heads, showcasing how horrific a ghost story can be, even for the ghost. And since the main family members were actually ghosts the whole time, no lives are taken in the movie itself. The Babadook like all the best horror movies, The Babadook lets the central monster become symbolic for any number of horrific real-life experiences, like trauma, loneliness, and mental illness. The symbolic weight of the film doesn't drag the film down into maudlin subtext, though. You can enjoy it as a simple movie about a single mother trying to keep her son safe. In spite of its frights, the characters make it out alive in The Babadook. Although viewers squeamish about ill-fated family pets should steer clear. 1408 Based on one of Stephen King's short stories, 1408 has a simple hook that's hard to beat. After the loss of his young daughter, a skeptic rents a haunted hotel room to prove that ghosts don't exist. This is it. The horror in the film doesn't come from Mike's fear of the ghost, but from his experiences within a twisted reality where he can't trust his senses or even himself. Despite the room's consistent encouragement for him to take his own life, Mike ends up living through the final credits. One Hour Photo Robin Williams is absolutely chilling as a voyeuristic stalker in One Hour Photo. The film follows Williams' character as he becomes obsessed with the family after developing their photos. When he discovers the family isn't as perfect as he had believed, he begins stalking and even threatening them. The movie works in the horror genre precisely because of its creepy central character, the kind of person you immediately forget about after you leave your local store. Still, despite his creepy behavior, this obsessive stalker doesn't actually take any lives in the film. Signs. At one point in time, director M. Night Shyamalan was the king of the plot twist. And while it might not be the sixth sense, Signs is a surprisingly effective horror movie. The film follows a family whose grief at the loss of their matriarch is interrupted by an alien invasion. The horror is restrained, blending the family's questioning faith with the arrival of alien conquerors so seamlessly that some fans have theorized that the aliens are actually demons. Whether the monsters are aliens or demons, they're equally ineffective at taking any lives in the film. April Fool's Day The only slasher film on this list, April Fool's Day, follows a group of friends who go on a weekend trip for the pranks and practical jokes to celebrate April Fool's Day. Despite corpses piling up and lots of blood, there are actually no real victims in the film. As it turns out, each supposed victim was actually in on the joke, helping to craft a specialized horror resort. Even a fake-out finale ends up being nothing more than a practical joke, making this the bloodiest, casualty-free movie we can think of. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.